Okay. Where's the on switch? Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. A handsaw can be a truly joyful thing to use when it's set up properly and your body knows how to use it. But getting there can sometimes be a little frustrating, especially when you're first starting out, there are things that go wrong. And one of the things that often is the most frustrating is how do you actually start the saw in the cut? And making that first few strokes and getting it uh, registered in the slot is, is sometimes something that is a bit tricky. So I wanna go through starting both the small back saw and the large heavy five TPI uh, rip saw at the saw bench and uh, go through a few ideas that you can have in mind for the next time you're about to begin that cut to make sure that it's a smooth and nice transition. So let's dive in. So whether you are at the bench hook or in this case I have it chalked up in a vise, the method is pretty simple. Now some people like to start on the back side of the uh, the board and some people like to start on the front side of the board and that's really kind of a personal preference. Personally I like to start on the back side of the board because my arm usually tends to be higher than the board so I find it easier to go downhill on the board whereas some people tend to come down here and they're working on the front side of the board. So try out both and see which one you like. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to pinch the corner of the board. So what I'm actually going to do is my, my thumb and finger are going to be on here and are going to pinch up on the board. What this allows me to do is as I pinch the board, if I pinch harder, it pushes the plate away from the line. As I pinch less, it allows the plate to come back towards the line. It gives me a very fine adjustment this way on the board. So as I'm squeezing it, the plate of the saw will be pushing up against my thumbnail. And as I'm cutting it at the beginning, my, the plate will be sliding against the thumbnail. It gives it a little bit of registration that gives it a point that um, controls the saw a little bit more. Now, a lot of people for some reason like to start on a backstroke. And because all of the teeth are aimed forward, basically that's going to be giving you a much softer cut. You're not gonna be as aggressive. Um, so pulling it backwards across there makes it so you're not cutting as efficiently, but you are cutting with more control. So if some people really do like to start it with that backstroke. Um, I just, there's something about pulling back on a Western saw that I don't like and I'm not comfortable with it. I like to start on the front stroke. Now the problem with that is a lot of people put a lot of force into it and they start driving this saw in and all that force, number one, it can'ts the plate out of the way. So you're no longer running on the, the line you wanna be shooting at. Number two, you're putting all that force down into it which is forcing the wood up into the teeth and suddenly it jams up and stops and you, you, you can't go forward. So what I like to do is actually do a little practice test of holding the saw and putting all the pressure back on this back horn so that this back horn and my finger up here are holding all the weight. That's how you should be holding the saw. You shouldn't be gripping it and, and squeezing on the saw. Just hold it lightly so that the back horn here is actually holding the weight. So we're gonna pinch. We're gonna let the plate ride against the, the thumbnail. And I'm gonna pinch until I am right in line with that, that, uh, the line I wanna shoot on. After all that's done, I'm gonna push forward and I'm not even gonna to touch the wood. I'm just kind of nicking across the top. You can see I'm not putting any pressure at all into the wood. I'm actually holding all the weight back on this horn so that once I'm ready, I'm ready in force and we can go right across the wood. And that's how I like to start a saw. Keep the weight back on this horn. Don't be squeezing the grip and then you allow this pinch to guide it back and forth. Just barely touch the wood in your stroke, and then once you're in, you can go to town. And that's where all the fun starts. So think about being light on the saw and not using all of your force and control into that. And if you really do want to, then start the saw on a backstroke and get a couple of lines in there until you get that, that groove that is set up and you have more surface area for the teeth, and then you can come forward. But in my book, if you don't need to do that, just start on the front stroke. Now over here at the saw bench, I have much the same issue. I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. I'm gonna be pinching the board, only in this case, I'm gonna let my thumb stick up a little bit higher so that it can ride along the plate a little bit higher. The only problem is on this one, I have these massive teeth, but I'm still starting on the same corner. And the same principles are going to rule. You want to be lifting up on the saw. Put the weight back on this hook. Allow the weight of the saw to be held in your hand and not on the board. Don't rest the weight of the saw on the board. Rest it on your hand. 
So then we're going to pinch the board just as before, find the line, allow the saw to ride along that finger, and just let it bounce on top of the wood. Practice just letting it bounce. And then you start getting into the cut. And you've got the exact same force going all the way through to establish your cut. Once the cut is established, you can go to town. And it's really that simple. Just lift the weight up, let it slide along the bounce on the top, now you're in. And learn to take that weight off of the saw. Don't let the saw rest on the wood, let it rest on your hand. And it goes pretty easily once you get the, get the hang of it. So there you have it. I hope you like this quick little demo. Uh, learning to start a saw is a bit of an art, but if you understand the basics of not putting the weight of the saw onto the plate, lifting it off with your hand, being able to position it in the right spot, it actually becomes fairly easy. Once you get those ideas down and your arm learns what it needs to do, it is amazing how much fun it suddenly becomes. And uh, the art of the saw is a very enjoyable one once you kind of get it down. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do have any questions, thoughts, or ideas, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. I do want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why I can keep putting out videos like this. I don't have any sponsors on this channel. It's all you on Patreon. If you'd like to find out more about that, or if you'd like to help out, you can find out right more down at the click right there. Ha! <laughs> so if you want to subscribe or see some behind-the-scenes footage, you can do that as well. And for now, and until next time, have a wonderful day.